Bubble casting is a, a technique by which we try to build parts layer by layer by sequentially stacking the materials. And if you stack enough thin layers, you get a three-dimensional part. So in essence, it's a very elaborate Play-Doh machine. What I do here is usually work with materials and work with the machine as well to try to build these different components and structures. And a lot of that is being able to understand what happens to all the tiny particles of material that we have inside of our Play-Doh. The idea behind the development of robocasting was to try to, to, to make a manufacturing technique that can be used on the battlefield so that we don't have to have an inventory of parts, but we just have an inventory of computer files in a computer that then can be fed to the robot to make the parts. There have been a lot of other applications that it turns out that robocasting is applicable to and gives us unique benefit over traditionally made parts. Can we make an implant that fits perfectly into the damaged area without having to go into the hip and retrieve this bone. And it turns out that robocasting is uniquely, I would say, uh, capable of making a structure for an implant that can fill the damaged area perfectly using a CAT scan file, but then also will promote the natural growth of bone into the implant so that it ultimately becomes a structural uh, part that you, your body would not know is different from the natural bone. It seems like we always have new people coming up to us saying, what can you do, what can you build? And our answer to us is, well, what do you want to build? And we'll try to do it. And, and we really haven't made material yet that we can't work with. Some other future applications could be in the areas of fuel cells or the solid oxide fuel cells to reduce our dependency on foreign oil. Uh, making composite structures, which are particularly interesting for engine components, um, where we can go from ceramic to metal materials all in one step, and also photonics where, for communication applications, where we can make photonic lattices.